Hey everyone, today we're going to be ranking all of the Dead by Daylight hook designs from worst to best. If you didn't know, there's currently 16 different realms in the game, each with a unique hook all of them looking different from one another. For this we have four tiers, boring or plain hooks, average hooks, pretty cool hooks, and finally, really cool hooks. Let's get into it. Starting off with the boring or plain hooks, we have Coldwind Farm, and it's rather basic looking hook. This hook looks to be a combination of both wood and metal, with a bit of rope wrapped around to pull it together. There's barely any detail, and generally it just looks quite boring. There are a few nails sticking out of it, but overall, it's quite plain. If I were to improve this, I would maybe make it include more of the realm's common elements, like the rotting animal carcasses, and maybe even some corn or farming tools twisted into it somehow. Next we have Autohaven Wreckers. This hook, to the best of my knowledge, is trying to represent the Wraith more so than Autohaven as a realm. This hook is made of wood and is wrapped with a similar looking cloth to the Wraith's base cosmetic. The coolest element of this hook is the branches that twist awkwardly out of the top. I think it would have made more sense honestly to try and include more car parts into this hook, almost like it had been scrapped together by the different remaining parts found around Autohaven. I feel focusing on Wraith's look was the worst route to go in honestly, instead of fleshing out the realm's personality, if that makes sense. Next up we have the Macmillan Estate, and it's also quite basic looking hook. This hook seems to represent the realm more so than the trapper. We can assume it's made of the metal from the Macmillan Mines. The metal and structure of the hook itself looks very similar to the rest of the environments of the Macmillan maps. Overall this one is much scrappier which I think is good for relating to the Trapper, but also the Realm. It feels like a hook that the Trapper himself may have even made. Up next is Red Forest. This one I think is one of the best out of the more basic looking hooks, as it feels like it's at least trying to be a little different and a bit more inventive, over just having two bits of metal or wood slapped together with rope. We have the varied textures of metal, wood, and cloth, and potentially even some animal hide. The hook has this almost skeletal frame, and then a set of what looks to be antlers poking out the top, which is a nice reference to the Huntress. I would have liked this hook to be adapted somewhat for Templar Purgation to be more Adira's fitting, but hey, it's not that big a deal. Finally for this tier we have Backwater Swamp. In a similar way to Red Forest, I feel there was more effort put into making this hook more fitting for its realm over the three original realms. This hook is kind of skeletal in a similar way, but made out of wood instead. This one is set apart by including just a whole uprooted tree for part of the hook, which is quite cool, held together by this piece of cloth. There are also small elements like bits of fungus growing at the bottom of the hook, which makes a nice blend into the swamp environment. Yeah, this one is the best out of the more basic hooks, I think. Okay, moving on to the average hooks. To start this tier off, we have Midwitch. This one is very map fitting and does definitely have a cool look to it. It greatly resembles the metal on the cages and chains found in the center of the map. This one has quite a harsh look to it and a cool jagged base. I think this one is a step up from the previous tier, just for the fact that it has that little bit more detail. It also blends in with the map near perfectly, which is very nice. Next up we have the quite unique Haddonfield hook. This one incorporates a street light as the main section of the hook. Instead of the light, however, a hook hangs down. This one is quite cool for the fact that it's just different. It's kind of difficult having a hook that fits in with the streets of Haddonfield, so it's a cool and creative idea to adapt one of the street lights into a hook, keeping the map's feel intact, merging both Halloween and Dead by Daylight pretty nicely. There's also a cool little pattern on it too, which is a nice little bit of detail. Next we have Dead Dog Saloon. This hook is actually quite basic honestly, but I really like the details of it. The basic structure is just two pieces of wood slapped together, but there's these cool wheels or cogs that fit onto the side, with a pulley rope wrapping around them. It visually feels very fitting with the Deathslinger, but also the map as a whole. With that said, it's still quite basic, and could really use a bit more to be honest. I think it would be cool if it took the almost steampunk look of the exit gates, but this works pretty well too. Let's move on to the pretty cool hooks. To start this off we have Springwood. This one is made up from lots of different scrap from the boiler room of Badham Preschool. It's mostly pipes, valves, and chains, but it honestly fits in perfectly with the whole map. This is probably one of the better done parts of the map as silly as that sounds. It's a great tie-in for both Freddy but also Springwood, and out on the streets it looks pretty natural too. I love the cobbled together look of it too, and the usage of parts that you can literally go and see in the boiler room. Next in this tier we have Crotus Pren Asylum and its hooks. This is probably the best hook out of the earlier maps, having very unique visuals. This hook is made up of this intricate and oxidizing metal, with this really nice fade from brown to green. Similar to a few of the earlier ones, it has this skeletally frame, 
which I feel is perfect for representing not only the nurse, but also the burnt down skeletal remains of Crota's Prem. There's also some pretty cool patterning on the hinges of the hook, and at the very top there's this almost birdcage-like structure that's been shattered open. Very cool and very fitting. And next we have Yamaoka Estate. I really like this hook because it goes for something very different, but also very map fitting. This one has its hook poke out of the estate's lights, which are set upon these wooden poles and have this cool style to them. They look quite lantern-y. I also love the ivy curling up the length of the light. Generally, it just fits in really well, and it's a nice visual change from many of the other more sharp and harsh looking hooks. Finally, for this tier, we have Ormond. Ormond's is really cool and incorporates different parts of what seems to be a ski lift. I like the visuals of this hook a lot, with its orange wrap covered in barbed wire at the base, then the more intricate and detailed top of the hook, which includes lots of different mechanical parts. You can see the different parts of the ski lift itself, and how it would pull things up and down, which is quite cool. This one is very unique, and a good solution to Ormond's equally unique setting. Alright, let's now look at the really cool hooks. Never in my life did I think I would be saying really cool hooks. <laughs> To start this off, we have Gideon Meat Plant. This one is pretty cool for the fact that it incorporates the mannequins and also the general look and feel of the game map. It makes the hook look really chilling. This hook in itself almost looks like a saw trap, which I really like. It has the different pieces of the mannequin twisted throughout, the timer in the middle, then the barbed wire or twisted metal spiraling around. The parts of this one are all very simple, but together they just feel so perfect. I also like how the hook itself is suspended from a rope of some kind. That's a nice little difference from some of the other hooks. Next up we have Raccoon City and its hooks. These hooks are really cool and have this spidery, biological, creepy texture on them, all twisted with the different things from the police station like laptops. There's this cool clash of artificial and biological. This corruption on the hook also fits in well with the rest of the map, as it's everywhere, all over the walls and blocking off areas. The main reason why I like this hook is the more vivid colours it has, and general aliveness of it. And again, the clash between the biological and the more modern or mechanical stuff found around the police station. Resident Evil has always kind of had that, a clash of modern weaponry against corrupted or distorted biological experiments. I think this is perfect honestly. Larry's Memorial Institute also has really great hooks. I love the huge difference these hooks have in comparison to others. They are far more clean and generally surgical looking, and again, despite hooks not really fitting in with the environment in this case, this hook works well somehow. Its main colours are white, blue, and this tealy colour, similar to the main colour theme of the rest of the map. Then there's these cool details all across it. There's this blood bag hanging down next to the hook, the TV or monitor set up on the side on a shelf, with tubing running up the side, and the overall structure of the hook being almost like a medical device in itself. This whole thing really makes sense for Larry's, but also the doctor. Having this hook that inflicts pain set up more like a medical instrument. Finally, we have Hawkins National Laboratory. Again, this is kind of a setting where a hook doesn't exactly feel like it belongs, but they made this hook really fit in with the theme, and generally blend with the map. This hook is made mostly up of the gross upside down stuff, with all these vines and organic webby things covering it. There's like this gross build up of upside down gunk, and it blends so well. The best part of these hooks though is that they actually have rats that move about on them, scuttling around, investigating the survivor that may be hooked on them, and generally just making the hook look creepy. I love that this hook has moving parts to it, and it's a cool reference to the whole rat infestation plot of Stranger Things. I think this dynamic element really makes this hook stand out, and so I'm putting it in first place. Alright, well that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and be sure to drop your own thoughts on this down below. Thanks, and goodbye.